Elderbridge are debt collectors and they buy debts from loan and credit arrangements and make money by chasing that debt up. Like any debt collectors, it could be quite daunting when you're getting constant calls and emails from Elderbridge. So if you know what they can and can't do, you'll be armed with all the information you need. Debt collectors and bailiffs are two completely different things and there are different rules. If a debt collector knocks on your door, you don't have to open it and can shout through the door that you'd rather communicate with them by email. That should make them go away. Annoyingly, it's their job to be persistent because it's how they make the money. So don't be surprised if they don't give up. It's best not to ignore Elderbridge because they can apply for a county court judgment and this could really affect your credit rating. That would make things difficult to get things like credit cards, mortgages and loans. Elderbridge can't make you pay more than you can afford because they're regulated by the FCA. Once you make a move to start paying back the debt, then they should get off your case. If you're financially struggling, don't worry because there are options available and some of them could mean that you don't have to pay back the debt in full. I'll run through them quickly here. Now, not all of these options will suit everyone, but there may be one or two that could work for you. First up, debt management plans. They're an informal agreement that you make with the creditors to pay back your debts at a lower, more affordable rate. Normally, that means paying less each month, but over a longer time frame. The catch is that you can't include all your debts in a debt management plan. So credit card debt, personal loans and an overdraft, they can all go in. But court fines and mortgage arrears, they sadly can't be part of it. Next, there's debt relief orders. They freeze your debt payments for a full year. And then if your situation hasn't changed after 12 months and the debt's written off. So you make no payments towards the debt in 12 months and interest isn't added. Pretty good, right? Sadly, debt relief orders have strict eligibility criteria. So for example, you can't own anything of significant value like a house and you can't have more than £2,000 in savings. Another option is offering a final settlement. If you happen to have access to a large lump sum, you can offer that to the debt collectors or the creditors they work for. It might not be the full amount you owe, but sometimes they'll be willing to write off the remaining debt because you'll be saving them the time from chasing you down for payments each month. Unfortunately, getting your final settlement offer agreed might not be that simple and your creditor could just simply refuse. Individual voluntary arrangements are another way to deal with debt collectors. It's a formal agreement between you and your creditors to reduce your payments to one simple payment each month. It lasts for five years and then at the end, any remaining debt's written off. Again, like with all these options, there are catches and IVAs are legally binding, so you'll need to keep up with the terms that you agree to. Otherwise, you could be back to square one. Bankruptcy is probably the most famous option, and you may already know, but with bankruptcy, all your assets are reviewed and some may be sold off to pay back your debt. After a year, any remaining debt will be written off. Of course, bankruptcies have some obvious downsides, mainly that some of your belongings may be sold to pay for your debt and your credit score will become very low. Paying back your debts, whether in full or using a method that I mentioned earlier, will ensure that you keep the debt collectors at bay. And one simple step that you could take today is to find out if any of the debt solutions that I mentioned could work for you. In the description of this video, I've linked to a form on my new website and it's got a few multiple choice questions like how much debt do you owe and how many people do you owe? And at the end of the form, it'll connect you to a company that I've partnered with to provide you with all the information you need about debt solutions that are available. So click the link in the description, check it out. Let me know how you get on.